It's a fine setup here for the CTs. They have a lot of mid control, so they're fast rotates over. Two players inside the B side will be a little bit later, but now the cross smokes will come out. And it'll be on Jacob to try to get some damage in, leave if he can. There it is, double smoke, making sure they leave no gap for 100 Thieves to try and exploit. But that is a long range shot from Jacob. Now he's going to start feeling more pressure. These T's have moved forward. They've crossed over towards the actual ramp, and they're starting to bring it back. One kill out from Nexa. Still, the USPs have prevailed as JKS falls off his boost. And we sit 4v3. Bomb planted. Nexa and Amanek with a killer crossfire. But it's that cat play that almost got the job done. So they'll have to wait that one out. Clearly G2 looking to just split this B site at the 30 second mark. But a D from JKS. And a follow up kill makes things complicated. Doesn't put G2 out of the round. But look at this. The bomb's actually going all the way back to mid. Somebody's at top mid. That's Jacob. Wow. And he can't get the kill. Kenny, what a trade. Yep. From the lower, second man out, had to react. But here comes Azza. He's got that scout and a dodge shot. Here's a second chance, and he's not going to land that one either. So now it's the creeping crawl, and it all falls onto just the bomb carrier. He doesn't realize Aminex moved over, so the plant goes down. <gasps> what? Liaz comes in from behind and just robbed away the round. That's it. No plant goes down. Nexus is left alone as the last man on the pistol as well. Can't win the round, and now 100 Thieves pull it back. But that's what happens. You know, you boil it down to a 35 second execute through mid onto the B site and, and you had that decision. They chose to rock it back to the A site despite there being a chance at being caught in mid, despite the chance at Azza locking down the car. So he came back to bite them, but here they go. Barking back at the A site early. They overwhelmed the long player. It's a weapons disadvantage for G2, and they play close to these CTs. Gratisfaction scout shot, good for the trade. Good Locks kill. down Catwalk. 100 Thieves not going to force the issue, not going to flash themselves into an extended peak. They're just going to look to lock down the line, and it's two kills back and forth. Leaves Liaz to clutch. 41 health. Ooh, and he almost sprays down both. Now he's going to turn. Good thing he did, seeing as Hunter had. Reeling in from CT spawn. He's going to hear that. Yeah. Jax just jumped downwards, and... It's 100 Thieves to win the duel. So, five versus three. Finally, a bit of a response back for G2, but it's going to be the B-Site pinch, and Liaz sees it coming. He peeks out, he extends, and there they go. Corralled through mid and just clamped down upon by yeah. 100 Thieves. G2 boiled it down to 20 seconds, didn't have anywhere to go. Everybody for 100 Thieves seemed to know exactly what they should be doing, but... Here we have it, a little clash down long A. The numbers game from G2 is what's going to enable them to bully these bodies back. CTs having to retreat as quickly as they can, and they look to posture up, but Ooh. that is helpful. And I love that nobody's giving Kenny S an angle to work with. If anything, 100 Thieves may be content to let them get their plant. We'll have to see. Smoke spade, fire, hits the feet of the ramp. That's going to do tons of damage versus Nexa, so no surprise he loses the duel. And somebody's going to have to cross, but here comes Liaz on that flank, pushing Jax's attention into two separate directions. He knows it's going to be tough to get across. Op offered over. It's only going to be Kenny S wielding the big cannon, but ooh, nice dink, great damage. It might be just what they just what they need. Also, two players are low yep. that are coming yep. at them. Exactly. I mean, if, if you just isolate this moment, huge advantage for 100 Thieves. Look at the flashbang. Misses the mark slightly. They look away from it. Dodge bullets. And now there's another player tagged down to such minimal health. A stiff breeze blows through those three. Nexa and Hunter. That's all that's left and not for long. Again, aggression out of Azza. Mm. It's really loud on Cat right now. You'd probably be able to walk through the doors, no problem. Next up, one-on-three situation. Can't write him off, obviously. Bomb is here on the railing. We'll try to jump up and get it. Two players watching it like Hawks, and actually he could, a he really could good that. smoke to deny them from jumping up. He's going to jump and reach. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Tries his damnedest. Jacob's going to come back over, and Azer's still tucked in. So if he could serve as a distraction, my god, this could be a mess, but he's turned. Good flashbang coming out of the CT side. Ooh, Amanek, he's going to get himself another kill, but what a sliver a of a shot from Gratisfaction's all he needed. Man advantage still up for G2. They've got a very real chance at taking the A site as they catch Liaz sleeping from CT spawn. And JKS, he's been at B on his own. The lonely Valentine's Day tale. Yeah. Liaz. Gonna feel the pressure here with that utility. He does really good damage onto Hunter, in fact. 
And this has created a little bit of space for them to play out mid. Azur's not expecting them to be there so early. It's true. We haven't seen G2 go through those doors that fast. But the door swings both ways. Jacob is starting to lurk out from long. Quickly executes Nexa, but Kenny's there to plug the hole. Again, there's still a chance for G2 to finish this half with a lead. If it's only one. Oh, ooh, gonna dodge some shots. Oh, come back he sticks around seconds. the audacity. Damn, there goes Amanek, but Jax, he's picked up a crisp headshot. You have to wonder, JKS giving them a bit of an opening, but here they go, corral towards the A site. They may just commit, and that's going to play right into the hand of Liaz. He could give chase to this. Look at them try and dodge. He 20 seconds. He knows. He knows he can cut them off. Dodges the flash. <gasps> the jump. Oh, and he's gotten the bomb down. 18 seconds remain. Kenny, he has everything to do now. He's desperate to get to that bomb site, and he will be given the chance to <gasps> just oh. slightly. You know, Kenny, he might try to end this round oh. early. Yeah, he's going up through the window. He just has bomb to hide. Bomb's not planted just yet. Liaz just wants to stay alive, and... Commit. Kenny will commit. Oh. Bomb goes down in time. He's got the op. All he needs, that one shot. Kenny, he goes oh. high. Up top. As that smoke fades, Gratisfaction's going to be in the tough spot. Timing could be his. Mm, denied. He does get the info. There's a lot of bodies starting to pile up on this catwalk, and they're going to go off of this. G2 able to find themselves. Ooh, a double entry, but nicely done. JKS, he is gunning for a third. The flank is hot from Azur. And he goes off with a flash. He's denied by Amanek, who started this kill count. <gasps> Here comes Liaz, up from CT spawn. An ambitious jump. And Liaz is just honing in for the headshot. It's really going to come down to who makes the move. You've got to be on point. And Nexa's in a position where he is so committed, but he tries Ooh. to get ambitious How? and gets shut down. How does he do that? They'll allow for the possibility of a wrap back to B to sink into the minds of G2. Here comes a follow-up, two more smokes, and Jacob gets Kenny S. He was doing the same thing as he did on the one smoke, but this time he dies. Nexa off of the flash. He comes upwards and can only take down one player. So 100 Thieves should be able to get themselves into this bomb site. And G2, they're going to take this time to clear the flank. Make sure there's nobody coming up mid. Make sure they can focus fully on the bomb site, on moving forward. But in a four versus two, it's going to get tough. An attempt at the flick from these pistols, and it's not going well as Liaz looks down from above, swoops in, and drops Hunter. Only Amanek left, and there are way too many T's to take. Amanek's looking to get that skewered shot oh. through more than just one, but he drops Liaz first and foremost. He's going to get pinned into the corner, and Amanek here on mid, looking for a second. Ooh, over top of the scope goes JKS. He is just dodging bullets and firing back with headshots so crisp. The B-Site crumbles, and it looked like they had that from the start. You obviously can't drop that trade. You'd think they'd still win, so it's not that terrible, but yeah, that's really rough. Damn, that's some hardcore parkour. Who could be at advantage, because even though G2 have a lot of information now, if they take too long to make a move, or if someone falls back, then how much is this worth? Yeah, He's very, nice. They're very far from sights. Well-timed wall of smoke. That's going to draw Kenny's attention. So now no longer any info on mid. And that big flank from G2 thinks it's going to find... Oh, it pulls them that way. ...the back of 100 Thieves. So it is all on Amanek once this moves forward. You've got to assume that G2 is going to start second-guessing this. They have spotted nothing at the 30-second mark. Now they're going to see that one op towards Pit. But is it too late? Because Amanek's going to have to get three kills with a single mag of ump and only one for him. Very quickly, though, Jax is going to try to sprint back up towards door, and there's no smoke. Still, Liaz able to cross, and JKS has to give cover. Oh, man, boiling down to just the 10 seconds. He got hurt. Oh, that could give away a kill. Wow, that's, that's a, it could be an insanely important kill. JKS will turn his attention to the tunnels, oh. reload, and someone will be on his back. That's Hunter. Done. Liaz back in from the corner of the site, removed. And at any given moment, Kenny S could snap like that. See you later, JKS. Like and fast. they're going to get one man down into the CT spawn. Two players down into CT spawn. We're getting weird. They're going to start running up ramp. Nexo regains vision just in the nick of time. And Hunter, he's playing with oh, his Oh, that's tough. That is luck. Oh, he's going to put that out. Oh, finally. He's given a second chance at back. Gratisfaction blocks him from the sky. And how many more die? Jax gets back into cover. Minute on the clock. Easy plant for Gratisfaction. He wants that money. That kill, that one we do, we're in business. Here, a lot more difficult. If they, Come on. if Gratisfaction finds a way to win this, it's G2 who messed up badly. 
He's up on his perch on the single box. Not many other places he can be. Nate comes out, does a good bit of damage. Op shots in. Can he make this happen? Misses the easier one. Time will tell if it has a heavy impact in what is the last six rounds of map one. Here's Jax with a crisp headshot versus Jacob, but bodies for 100 Thieves piling here on the blue box. There goes the third before finally they're able to respond and Gratisfaction knows he can peek into this, but the AK is ready from Jax and he's now toppled. JKS 1v4. By the minimap, got the two kill, two deaths from the CTs for four trades. Like, that's beautiful from G2. They are working on levels right now, looking to make this comeback. They look super strong. Big bit of information. It looks like Kenny, you know, a bit scared now, or, or just rethinking it, thinking about the round in a new way has moved off. Double push off of long, yeah. like what Jacob did, but now reinforced. They're at the top of mid. Oh my God. And. Hundred Thieves have no idea. The thing is, they've missed it though, and there's this lower player looking at nothing. Is he looking? No, he's not even prepared Hello? for this at all. Oh my God! I think he's. Oh no! Oh, it could be a tech, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let's come back to that. What's important is that this catwalk push has just been obliterated. We've got that utility being thrown out on mid. A little bit of tick damage. So as his presence will be called, you can see Hunter getting a bit uncomfortable with the idea of players near. But oh. Amanek, he's only going to get uh -oh. a few chances. And he misses the first two. Creeps back, gets the third, and okay. even manages to hang on. It is a sweep from G2. Could be an easy first map here now. Going to hold for the long push. But in general, they're going to commit minute mark crosses. And they're executing. It's on on Kenny S now. Go deep molly. Gonna flush out Goose. They're not gonna find anything for it. Kenny comes back in. Instantaneous frag versus Lias. Whoa. There's the second for Kenny S. Looking to seek revenge from the mishaps of a previous round. Imagine he wins this. Flash goes over. He's got Azza also looking into the wall. They're dodging these flashbangs. These CTs need to avoid lining up and they'll do exactly that. All three kills have been taken and G2 Esports pick up map one. Wonderfully done, really good. Oh, they move up. They're looking to take control of J-Hall. Three CTs pushing out. Instant headshot back and forth, actually. But it looks like it's the oh. CT. Oh, my oh. God, JKS! The four headshots right off the bat. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a spam from Jax. That is just wonderful. I mean, we talk about the sound playing a key piece of Vertigo. You can hear everything from everywhere. So... When you boil it down to 30 seconds and then decide to move almost everyone to the opposite side of the map, I mean, they have to walk this entire way. They are playing a dangerous game. Lady Luck may show her face here. Eight seconds left over. JKS could try to commit to something on the A side if he wants to stop that plant. Mollet, no Molotov. I don't think they have it. Oh, they, they can't even plant the bomb. Oh my God. Interesting that, you know, they spent all their Weird. money here because they're just they saved all their guns they just basically made nothing off of that they're gonna move fast on the entry mp9 gets taken out both players on the b site gets taken out so all of a sudden it matters a whole lot less let's see if they can right. get some constellation frags maybe even pull this back we've got a three four situation molotov to push a player out of position and it, it has been difficult for teams to win in the post plant jacob on b within green just trying to play around these corners and the flashbangs are going to allow for him to go for that reload jks near Ooh, they've got three CTs for the retake up close already, and they're starting to get their feet onto the bomb site itself. Low health for Jacob, and Amanek is going to have to work his way around this smoke. It's a quick bomb tap that elicits the spray down, so now they know exactly where he is. He's going to have to go for the reload, and the defuse has been snuck through. A hundred thieves with another robbery of a round. They're winning the positioning battle here. Jacob going for the spam. Oh, oh doesn't go, but Kenny S does. Jax is low, but so be it. Still, CT's not shying away from this, not looking to fade into the bomb site. All G2 have had to do is wait. <laughs> Nexa going to put down two players. Azur only able to manage one, and Liaz is nowhere to be found. Monster. So all these players here early. Oh, wow, gratis faction. This man is dangerous. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that through the sandbag? Kenny found that. Of course, the pixel peak, and he'll nail it. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Millimeters. That's so tense, man. There it is. He does wait around long enough to drop a body. 4v4. But again, it's just the intensity of these standoffs at A. And Gratisfaction will move into a new spot. Incognito mood walking the entire time. Kenny has flashes himself into that position. And we'll have to move off the angle now. So the CT opera wins the duel finally. Yeah, that's a good underhanded flash just to take back some real estate. 
And Gratisfaction decides not to shy away from this. He's going to play close on the fire. 30 seconds for G2. And they are working off a man disadvantage. They've got the utility to make this execute happen, but the longer they wait, the more thieves that end up showing up to the show. Here we go. Smoke up and over, but dealing with two players inside of short, this, this could be a catastrophe for the T's. Sure, one Molotov flushes JKS into the open. That's something, but they need these short kills, and they will come up empty-handed. A rock-solid hold by Gratisfaction. Let's talk about Gratisfaction, man. That's beautiful stuff from him. Just audaciously peeking at ARAM, not scared of Kenny whatsoever. This time it looks like, whoa, he's very close. Oh my god! The reaction of that to hit him off the, the side of the sandbags once again in flux. And he sees another one. He's not going to be able to deal with JKS just yet. He's honed in on it, takes a shot to the head. JKS has this minimal <laughs> position. So he had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He died. But here it goes. They've got the double smoke past the bomb site. Still, nobody's actually cleared sandbags until now. Kenny. Dude, Kenny. Cerebral. Well played. I mean, again, he's been left to his own devices on this site for so long now, but it is very much a commitment coming in from the T's. They have to contemplate bursting through that smoke. They clear him close, and then down goes the second. As a empty-handed, it is a clean sweep of the B site. They're actually able to clear out those corners, unlike last time. And um, no, yeah, no way to push the guy off the back of default, so potentially... Or, but they'll now they'll jump over a new lane of attack into B. Let's see if they can make use of mid here, boost onto the site. Look, now they're going to start rounding that corner, and he could re-peek right into this. He's got to be worried about that new door. But, oh, damn. He could now come back into what is the setup. G2 going to try to pull the trigger on this quick B crunch. Liaz from both directions going to feel pressured, and he swings wide. Stops it from the spawn, but Nexa's on site with the bomb down already. A frag grenade. Ooh, negligible damage. He gets his gun back up, peeks in. And he's got the smokes to play around with. Ooh. Ooh, there's the first one. Good headshot. Gratisfaction falls. That's a sound cue, but his attention's so Drop turned. the peak. There it is. He's ready for him, but cannot stop the op of the Aussies. Ooh, missed off shot. There's there Jacob. it is. Nexa gets two and oh, potentially three. The trade is even better. They're, maybe they're happy again for, for 100 Thieves to try to get aggro down that ramp. Two players here left over on what is the last round of the half. They're going to move in. JKS, monster on the pistol round. Not so much right here. Liaz looking Ooh. for the spray down. Two players up, but he can't get away, and that's round one for G2. Looks like A to begin things. Yeah, very quickly. Already going to be trying to challenge Hunter off of the short shelf. He has support now in position. Jack's coming in from behind to try and hold the line, but they've lost short. Ooh, Liaz tries to trudge into the bomb site, and that's going to cost him. Two versus four, still for 100 Thieves. And I'm curious to see if they play the kills before the bomb. Azo wants that money. And all of a sudden, they're going to get flushed out. It's a rapid push in from the counter-terrorist, looking to retake Bro, by Storm. Kenny, man. I, I love Kenny right now. He is so nice with it. And attempt an A hit. I think they have a very good chance of... Uh, getting through here with a couple of kills, unless Amanek has something to say about it. He's got the UMP looking for so much damage. He finds a bunch of it. He's actually got two players down to the point where they just get peppered off easily. This is M4 versus Krieg, but Whew. element of surprise, no problem. Here comes Liaz with some kind of an answer. Now, he could molly off Kenny from getting into the bomb site, just try to get that bomb down if needed, but he's left it behind. So he's looking to play kills at the 30 second mark, and he'll do that. Cuts it down to the 1v2. That guy's not going to show his face, though. He's a sneaky mouse. He's going to allow for this plant to come down. It's a two-on-one. Doesn't want to blow it. But Jax shows himself. Ooh, dangerous. He's going to tap that bomb. Ten seconds left over. Now that flank's very much activating. <gasps> Another kill sight. from Liaz. He's just got to assume. From the 1v3 to the 1v1, it's going to take a headshot. Nexa already up around the ramp. He's seen him, and all he has to do is connect. But it's Nexa again and again with everything they have. 100 Thieves down by two, trailing. As G2 have gotten themselves onto the double digits first, here comes Hunter, and it's gonna cost them. Jacob, first bit of success here. Kenny off of the side of boxes, denied by Azza and Amanek. Well, he succeeded last round. Can he line them up again? Seems not. We've got 100 Thieves with a 4v2. Things not so hot this time around as they attempt the same strategy, but it's actually 100 Thieves to bring the tempo a one step higher. Now they've got mid control to work with. Bomb actually 
pulling its way back. Jax running through the fire, realizing the importance of the rotation at this moment in the 2v4 to take a risk. But the risk does not pay off, and in fact, him and his teammate will both die in basically quick succession. Glock Damn. to the head of Nexa, and that's round one for 100 Thieves to pull it back. See where it lands there on short. Woo, that is Molly oh. damage, baby, and Kenny S. Wait. How has he managed that? I, oh, from it seemed like his angle was that deep to be able to pull that off. I'm gonna have to stuck having to spray gratisfaction. You can see that big flank working its way around T-spawn, but for the time being, it is just gonna be Hunter at bat. Smoke starting to move past, and he is able to retract himself enough to come back in by surprise and kill Azza. That's the 3v3. Yeah, highlights the positioning there. That was great. Pulls off. Gets a kill, falls back. Another smoke up. Ooh, then that flank comes into play. Jax able to snap back JKS. Takes the man advantage into the hands of G2. The retake meant to get rolling, but Liaz has other ideas. He's cleared one of the two players on the bomb site, and low HP for Jax puts him into a very awkward spot. Oh, the HP so low, it's gonna take oh. one bullet, and it connects. <gasps> Liaz back turned. Hunter drops him down, wow. and G2 back in the lead. Which is the Thing to understand how does Kenny even come up with that kill, man? Wild. There's Jacob, at least early answer. But it's enough to have JKS scurry back there. 15 health would have fallen to the USB. Good Another great flash. flash. An attempt on the spray down, but just one frag. And Jax, he knows he's susceptible to the peak, so he too retreats just a bit behind the wall. Huge on the counter utility. Mm -hmm. It's 3-3, three three, but it really looks like, you know, G2 have got things under control. The push-up again, but the flash is no good. Goes a bit too high. Easy to dodge there for Azer. More pressure now on Kenny as he moves in to the execute itself. Oh, from the, oh, from the smoke. Can't turn around and take Azer out on the A ramp. Oh, grenade. That's a bump lamp nice. tonight at the very least. 37 seconds, though. Does he fancy his chances? He's oh, been he's smoked off. Try to push him into a lurk. Bomb's halfway gone. Liaz. Audacious play here. He's yeah. decided to come back over to the left. That's what's going to catch Nexa by surprise. Really smooth moves there. Well, I mean, that might be the strat. CT's here at mid Ooh, for one of the stack. first times. Yeah. As is caught hopping, he is going to get that bomb down. And once these smoke fades, should be easy pickings. That is a dangerous game, Jacob. Yeah, for real. But uh, he's tucked in. Tight road walker over here. Ooh, that's a big kill. Wait a second. Pop flash. They're close. Meant to keep anybody at bay, but Nexa not scared. He's going to move this one forward. Little bomb tap. That's going to reveal a position that's pretty easy to deal with. I mean, Jacob has nowhere to go, so... Oh, JKS has to clutch this 1v4. He doesn't get the man off bomb, and they've managed it. Yeah, get loud. That's insane. They were able to get close enough that they could pull out the defuse. Ten seconds oh. to go, but it turns green. It's... And it looks like it's 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 gonna be the reason that they win on this round. Nexa, oh my god, after they get that info, do some nade damage, comes through with a spam. However, it's still even strength. And the 100 of these are split up. Kenny S has made presence now on the B site. Smoke in his face. If he jumps up, Gratisfaction might catch him completely by surprise. But no, it's Azza with a good headshot to keep them here even 3v3, bombs down. In the post plant, you know. I mean, oh, there's wow. something. That's a, that's a slides off his teammate's head. Yeah. yeah he'll, he'll see something, it won't be worth anything though. An electric slide, two man boost. But the drive by is a miss, Jacob. Oh no, he oh, is poor just Poor Jacob stuck. has to just sit there and die. Are you kidding me? That's a bit awkward. A little small mistake is made. As a, he's gonna go down after just the first one. Gratisfaction trying to connect a headshot here. He's got 56 health to work with, and Jax is already on that bomb. He has to go for the peak. He has to stop it, and the mag goes dry, but I don't know if there's time. Yep, he's got it. Oh, a 15th for G2, down to the wire. In our pregame interviews, every player predicted their opening match going 2-0. And that may be the case. Here we go. Hunter's got that opening kill. He's going to hear walking on the rafters. Nexa. They're looking for a boost, but Nexa's smoke. I mean, uh, yeah, could he get that in for me? They're making too much noise. He's going to push out. Yeah. Ooh, but Try to take down the bottom of the totem. Doesn't line it up right away. The spray just good for one. Amonek's going to have a gun advantage over Liaz, just working with that MAC-10. And here's the big flank from Jax. He could be the nail in the coffin. He's going to decide to pull this off. 
Clears Jacob, who's not watching flank. Down now, two quick kills. 